Trippy Productions, and I have a really, 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 really good sugar buzz right now. So yeah, wait, this is it. Uh. So um, apart from the sugar buzz, uh, I'm gonna tell you a little story of what happened maybe about 30 minutes ago. Okay, so me and my mom, we were just kind of like chilling. I don't know. We went to like get something sugary, and we we're like, oh, and we went to, decided to eat it in a parking lot that had the store Hobby Lobby in it, and. While I was eating this amazingly delicious surprise that was invading my realm of mouth taste stimuli, it was... I had an epiphany. An, epi an epiphany of all of my experiences in freaking Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby has no freaking value to the men world. No men love Hobby Lobby. Unless you have some form of other sexual orientation than straight. No, it, no, it, this is bad. Every time I go in freaking Hobby Lobby, I'm always in there with my mother. And I'm always in there getting pointless freaking crap that I don't ever need. I can live without this freaking crap. Hobby Lobby sells hobbies and lobbies. They sell hobbies and lobbies. And I do not enjoy hobbies and lobbies. So yes. So apart from the hobbies and lobbies that Hobby Lobby sells that I have no interest in, we sit there and look at these hobbies and lobbies at Hobby Lobby and you're just looking at this crap. And your mom walks off while you're mesmerized by this pointless shit. Just you're just mesmerized by this pointless crap. You're mesmerized. It is a brain erotic stimulus. It is a brain erotic stimulus, people. Stimulus. So while you were mesmerized by this brain erotic stimulus, your as I said, your mother leaves you, or your father, or your gay relative, and you're sitting there mesmerized having a, 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 a brain epiphany or whatever, I don't know the word for this, so you're, you're staring at this pointless crap and they walk away and you look and, they're, and you're just lost, like th there's, there's, there's nobody and you're just there by yourself because there's no one ever in freaking Hobby Lobby except your mother at that point and you, so well other than if there's other mothers and people. So you get the gist of the conversation. Okay, so you're there looking, as I said, at this mesmerization brain hormone or whatever, and your mother walks off, and you look, and you can't find her. So you proceed to walk down the aisles, and no, Hobby Lobby cannot have one aisle. It cannot have two. It cannot have ten. It cannot have twelve. It has thirty freaking aisles. Thirty. Thirty. And you're going down the thirty aisles, looking down every aisle of Hobby Lobby, just looking at these random people down every aisle, because I know you've done this if you look for a family member when you were a young child. You look down the aisle to see if you know the figure of your mother or father or gay relative, and you, you can't see them, but you get the look from the other people in the aisle, and their look is just horrific. It is horrible. So horrible. It is like... <sighs> Who's looking at me? I'm trying to do my own pointless Hobby Lobby shopping for my hobbies and lobbies. Thank you. Stop looking at me. And you're... While you're looking at these people looking for your relative, you give them that nod like, Sorry for looking at you. I didn't mean to set my eye stimuli on your body. So you keep walking down the halls or aisles or whatever the freak they call them. And then... You finally find your mother, or the, the parent or gay relative, and you're relieved. You feel this sigh of relief. The maze is done. The maze is over with. You can leave, and you walk up to them, saying, Where the freak are you? Where the freak were you? Because I just walked down 30 freaking aisles 
to find you. And you weren't there, and you scared me. And they just look like, oh, I thought you were right behind me. I've been looking for you for 30 minutes. 30 minutes of my life that I could have been contributing to other physical activity other than walking down aisles. You could... exercising. You could have been exercising with dumbbells other than walking down hallways. You could have done that. But no, you were looking for your parent or gay relative. And then they're like, oh, well, I'm sorry, I'm still shopping. So then, you're sitting there bored. The crap is literally being bored out of your butt. Your crap is bored. You're, you're, you're bored as crap. It's crap on the ground, you're bored as it. So you're bored. Not, not like wood, you are bored. Like, bleh, bored. Ugh. And you're just looking at this pointless crap again. It's a cycle! You end up spending the whole freaking day in Hobby Lobby, and you walk out, and you're in the aisle. Not in the aisle, but you're in the cashier aisle. There's a difference. And there's only, there, there's always only one cashier working at Hobby Lobby, because no one shops there other than gay relatives. And you're just chilling there with all the gay relatives and parents and children of this horrific place. It was a haunted trail from hell. So, you're, you're just sitting there, waiting patiently, wishing that there was a self-checkout. And you look in your mother's bag, or a gay relative's bag, and you look to see what amazing device they have bought from freaking Hobby Lobby. And you open it with caution. You take it out, and you look. It's a freaking light bulb! It is a light bulb! They spent five hours in a Hobby Lobby looking for a light bulb that you put in a light. It's not some special light bulb that you can put in your nipple and it shines. No, it is a light bulb that you put in a light. It's not even the cool swirly one. It's just a normal plain light bulb. So then, you get in the car and you go home and you go to sleep because your day has just been ruined by Hobby Lobby. Alright guys, uh, hope you like my second vlog, uh, it's not 12 minutes like the last one, I decided not to do another 12 minute video because that took my whole freaking day, um, hopefully you got a couple laughs out of it, I will be posting more, don't forget to comment, give me a thumbs up, because as you know, YouTube did swagger jack, like, they like, you're supposed to like my video now, which is pretty cool, but you can dislike it too, but don't dislike it, because that's just bad, I don't like to be disliked. As I was saying, remember to sub subscribe, rate, and comment on the video and tell me what you think or praise me in other ways. Yes. Um. That's all I got to say. Bye.